storage of a project that has already been built somewhat gets a little bit trickier. We've got to be careful about storing materials like this where we can see this project has already been built somewhat. We have a project here made by a student named Kesley. She's building a coil made container or vessel. She has lots and lots of different coils that she's already made. We have our water here. We have our malleable clay. This is clay that Kesley has not done anything with yet, but she plans to turn it into details for the side of her piece or more coils to build up the top even more. So when we're getting ready to store for materials that have already been built, we will need our water, we'll need our wet paper towel, then we're going to store all of these materials. One added material that we might get involved with this then, if we have pieces like these coils here that we want to keep separate, we can use plastic sheets to try to keep pieces like this separate from these other pieces when they're stored in. So to have a look at that, I'm going to begin to place her coils in this sheet. We can take and wrap that coil sort of individually and then we're going to add in a couple of more. We'll roll that a little bit and then we're going to add a couple of more. We roll it a little bit more. We can add these coils piece by piece into the plastic bags so that they stay separate from each other and don't stick together like this while we have them stored. So add a couple more coils, roll that. Add a couple more coils, roll that. Okay, so now all the coils that she's built I've placed inside of this package right here. Okay, now her bag right here. We're going to begin to place these items in, but I might go about spraying into the bag first so that we have some moisture added into the environment. Now I'm going to carefully place these materials that she's created into the bag. I'm going to put the coils all the way down at the end. I'm going to take her piece here and we're going to carefully place that into the bag as well. We're going to take the malleable clay, carefully place that into the bag as well. We're going to take the wet paper towel. Now if it needs to be re-wet, we would spray that a little bit, but this paper towel is plenty wet right now. We're going to add that right in as well. So we have all of the pieces have been added into the bag right here. We have the malleable clay, the paper towel, and her piece. Now in terms of closing this down, we're going to close this down the same way that we have in every other process. We're going to take the bag and close it about two-thirds of the way. Then we're going to carefully try to close out the bag. Now, I say carefully because we don't want to crush anything that she has already made. We want to be attentive to the coils that we have in the back, and this is her vessel or container right here. So we're going to carefully go about trying to squeeze out all of the air that we possibly can. Now, we can't get all the air out. The air that's on the inside of this vessel, we can't get that out of there, but that's not a problem right now. We try to close out all the air that we can, and then we finish closing the bag the rest of the way. Now in terms of storage then, we've got to carefully carry this into the spaces that we have for our storage. Bendable or shapeable, and in fact, given pressure it will crack and break.